clearing the old pond area of old membrane and crucially with it grass nettles weeds things that have managed to pull their way through grow through the little cracks and the tiny splits and uh, I have to say it's looking a lot better you can finally see the ground oh there goes one of the swallows I've got swallows here already Anyway, you can finally see the ground, the plants that I've put in. It's actually starting to look a bit more organised. And the other beauty of it is that now, though I may have a lot of old membrane, which, thick as it is, with weeds and such, is obviously no good for using on the garden. It is good for covering the old rabbit warren mound what I've been using it for as you can see now this is the bane of the garden shall we say it's where all the rabbits live and uh, then come out and obviously demolish everything you don't want rabbits in the garden you really don't now today has mostly been last bit of clearing I've got one corner still to do but then that will be ready for planting and there's gonna be a lot of plants to go in grasses ferns wildflowers lots of foxgloves I do like foxgloves such beautiful plants but first I've got to get all the old membrane up to the warren Get that covered and then see what's left. Not been a bad day for it though. Quite nice now spring's arrived. I'll say the swallows are back a little bit early by about a month but then saying that you can probably also see the the fields of rapeseed behind me also very early. The aquilegias are all flowering, they're not far off going to seed actually, the first the first set of seed. So all in all, it's a bit of a confused season. However, better well so it's better late than never, but better early than never in a way. And it is so nice to feel a bit of warmth on you. Just in time for the beard to come off. But uh, I have to say, I do worry a little bit because certainly in this garden, I'm still getting frosts at night. Uh, and there is that worry that things will start to grow and then just get zapped by the cold. But there's not much you can do about it. Just hope that they'll have time to recover and enjoy the enjoy the scenery whilst you can. And this is stunning scenery here. This is where are we now? Well we're in April now. And I think when the clients first came to view the garden, they said it was around this time of year. It was around lambing time, so probably a month before March. But, it is beautiful. When I first started here, it was winter. About three years ago now. No, hang on. Two, two and a half years ago. And, um, sorry, I need to drop the phone then. I am also working, you see. But I got here in winter. I started working and clearing, weeding, all the usuals catching up with work and I have to admit I don't know why they were here because it is cold so cold in winter well that was the first winter by the time March came and the countryside just let up I quite quickly realised why they were here because it is 
so so beautiful that by the time the following year came and the following winter I could still see the beauty I still loved it and now well there's barely a day that I'm here that I'm not just in awe and the nice thing is that the people who live here also really appreciate where they are you always got the worry that you kind of, I don't know, maybe you could become used to where you are, become used to the beauty of it, and don't fully appreciate it. But that's not the case. I know they still come out and look at the views. And uh, you're just glad that there are people here who can appreciate it and make it what you will. I mean, well, see where we are. This is the garden where the uh, the video way back for the Storm Doris was done. It just it just came down the valley, and uh, it's so nice here now. It's a bit cool still. Oh, that's heavy. It's a bit cool, but. Just means I have to work a bit harder to stay warm. But everything's out now. The peach blossom's over. Hopefully we'll get some peach this year. Last year was a bad year for pollinators. The apples, they did not do well. So I'm hoping that there's been a fair few bees around. They, uh, they like to nest in the, the walls of the barn. Well, see some types of bees do. That will have a better, a better cropping year. And if we can get on top of these rabbits, then the gardens should really come on. But uh, you just make of it what you will. Ow! And of course, you never know what the year is going to bring. However. I would just like to say that this place has some of the most vicious nettles I have ever known. It's nearly 20 years I've been doing this. And as you can imagine, in that 20 years, I have been stung a fair bit. I have never known pain. <laughs> and long lasting stings, like you get from these nettles. They are just, well, without wishing to overly personify them, they are vicious little buggers. It's like, it's just malicious. I brushed past one then. I've got my thick gardening trousers on. They still got through. And that sting is going to hurt for a while yet, I know. Anyway, I shall leave it there. The only thing I'm doing now is walking back and forth, dragging the last of the membrane up to cover the pile. So I'll just finish off a little bit more of that. Stand and look at the scenery for a bit more. And then homeward bound, I think. So we'll uh, I'll see what the year brings. Hopefully soon, there'll be another video with all of this pond planted up and looking, well, looking rather fine, I should hope. I think what I might do actually, there you are, you can see all that. See, there's a lot to do, but it's made a big difference. Should be rather good now. Look at the lambs. I mean, you don't get a better office than that, do you? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful.